The treatment of varicose veins has been controversial over the last decade or more, ever since I did the first endovenous procedure in the UK in March 1999. Since that time I've been a great advocate of all the endovenous treatments and tried to stop people from stripping veins and indeed have written research on the uh, subject showing that veins grow back again after stripping in the majority of cases and also in the public press have pointed out that it's painful and shouldn't really be performed. Fortunately now this is supported by NICE which is the National Institute of Health and Care Excellence which is the body which in the UK tells doctors really how they should treat patients. The guidelines are quite clear. As from now, patients who have varicose veins and need treatment should have endovenous surgery, which means either endovenous laser ablation or endovenous radiofrequency. If the doctor can't do that, it's not available or the patient doesn't want it, then a case could be made for foam sclerotherapy. Indeed, in our practice, under the Whiteley Protocol, some patients need the endovenous surgery with the laser or radiofrequency followed by foam sclerotherapy because of the shape of the veins. However, although the NICE guidelines say that if the, neither of those two techniques are available or the patient doesn't want them, stripping can be then used, in fact, there's very few patients, if any, that that is ever the case. In the last 14 years, there hasn't been a single patient who's attended the Whiteley Clinic that we can't treat with endovenous surgery and foam. So in other words, really, stripping should now have seen its last and we should never have any patients having stripping again, which will be a huge benefit to patients who need vein treatment for the future.